So I picked up this Win 4000 watt inverter generator from Menards, uh, mainly because with this winter and with uh, there being a lot of electric cars um, uh, getting powered by the electric grid, uh, I want to make sure that uh, I can power vital things uh, this winter uh, if I need to. I could hook up an electric heater, be able to help assist and heat. Let's see. So this is a 1.85 gallon, 87 octane, minimum use fresh grass, do not over gas, do not overfill. Now the nice thing with the inverter is that it ends up generating clean power for electronics and so forth. Uh, as USB, as 120 AC, it has parallel connect. So you could connect uh, several of these, at least one more together. Um, there's the eco mode if you want to save on gas, maybe not run as much. There's also the RV30 amp plug that you can plug into. Uh, and by being an inverter, it ends up being uh, a lot more compact. And this is the funnel for adding the oil. Let me check out the instructions here. I'll set it back carefully. These are, the red things are the shipping brackets. That I need to remove. This was on sale for uh, hundred and or three twenty nine, which I feel like for a four thousand uh, starting and three thousand watt operation uh, that that's. Pretty good deal. And today was the last day, uh, December fourth of twenty twenty two was the last day they had the, the, the sale. So I figured it was a good investment because um, who knows what we might need to power this winter. And with uh, potential for ice storms, it may uh, cause the power to be out for days and you want to keep your options open. Now I don't think oil is in this machine yet, so that's why I have it tipped over this way. So far from what I can tell, this is where you would service the air filter.
these are the lights to let you know if you're over powering it. Um, let's see. On this side, this is where you add the oil. It says uh, SAE30. Looks like I overfilled it. Or, uh, or it's not level. Add enough gas to get it started. Ugh. I won't be putting that much gas in it. Ooh. Okay. Okay, start I would say I probably need to pull the choke, turn that on, also turn the fuel line on in the on position. shut the fuel off and if you're going to be storing this over the winter I'd probably put some stable uh, fuel stabilizer in there uh, but so far I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, initial impressions it's really small compact I'll probably pull it around on a wagon uh, various places on the farm uh, but then if we do need to run some stuff uh, we'll have it um, so yeah I'll put a link in the description uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, take care.